Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in full video and I am going to show you something very, very cool. I'm going to show you how to create AI powered videos that are perfect for your e-commerce store. If you are running a Shopify store, an Amazon affiliate setup, or if you've got an Etsy store, etc., I'm going to show you how to create amazing product and service videos for TikTok, for YouTube, for your website, all of that and no technical skills are required, no extra software, nothing. We're gonna do it all with one program, one click, let's go. All right, so the first step is you wanna to go to bullv.video. I'm not sure if that's bullv or bullv. I'm not sure how to say that, but either way, link will be in the description below, and then simply click on sign up if you do not have an account. If you do have one, click on login. It is free to sign up. So I've clicked on login, and I'm just gonna continue with my Google account, and it's that easy. Let's get in and get busy. All right, once you've logged in, you'll see this here under Create Video. We have a whole bunch of different options. The one I want to focus on in this video specifically is Product to Video. This is a fantastic option, especially for those of you that have your own Shopify stores or your own Etsy accounts, you're an Amazon affiliate. This is going to create opportunities for you to generate a lot more sales and a lot more revenue. Let me show you how. So I'm going to click on product to video and then it's very simple to use, which is also great. You can literally input the URL of the blog page of your Shopify page, for example, right into here and create videos directly from that. Let me give an example. I'm going to go over here to my Microsoft Edge and here is a, you know, a shoemaking account. This is built using Shopify and these guys are designer shoemakers out of Italy. Now I'm going to go ahead and just click on a pair of shoes. For this case, I'm going to go with, let's go with Chelsea boots. Okay, Chelsea boots. Now these are fantastic boots. My brother loves them. They've got that nice high heel on them. I'm going to select Maggot, one of their best sellers, and watch this. I'm literally just going to take this URL, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch back into my Google Chrome. I'm going to copy and paste that URL in here just like that, and I'm going to simply press Apply URL. Watch this. It's importing all of the product information from that page pictures, more pictures, videos, and things like that. It's all being pulled in and now you can see it right here. So we've gotten this far. Now, let me show you how to use the prompting side of things and the AI side of things to take it to the next level. All right, so the images have been imported automatically and they are fantastic images. And you'll also see up here at the right that we've at the top right, we've got idea prompt. It reads, they are the perfect Chelsea boots, whether you're the rebel biker man or looking for elegance at the office. They're made to be worn during the coldest times of the year, winter. Okay, this is a prompt. This is something we're going to use for our AI generation. Of course, it is purely optional, but I like it. Now, let's take a quick look here at a few other options. We can do the different types. Right now, there is AI voiceover and no AI voiceover. Now, I prefer with AI voice because I think the AI voices that they have inside Bull Video are quite good. So I'm gonna go with an AI voiceover, but keep in mind, you don't have to do that. We can also select different duration times. The default is 30 seconds here for this one. Now, keep in mind that in this case, we're going to be creating TikTok videos, we're gonna create YouTube shorts, but we also might be creating videos for specific platforms like Shopify or Amazon and for or Facebook even, but I think Shopify and Amazon have different timings. So some only allow you to do 30 second videos, some allow you to do 60 seconds. So again, we can adjust this as we see fit. I'm gonna keep it at 30 seconds to keep it nice and short. But keep in mind that if you want the longer one minute version, that is still just fine for TikTok and um, Instagram and various other social media. So there you go. And then now here under the ratio, we've got a few options. We've got square, which is great for Instagram. We've got 916, which I highly recommend for different TikTok reels and Instagram reels. You know, these are basically the vertical style. And if you want to create a proper YouTube video, for example, where it's like a widescreen YouTube video, you can also do that as well with 16 by 9 landscape. Let's go with 916 for this uh, demonstration. And then finally, under AI customization, there are a few different options here. You can add in stickers, you can add in filters, things like that. I tend to select conservative 
because I just kind of like it to let the, you know, the program do its thing, but you can experiment with these different options as you see fit. Finally, I've got the prompt here that they gave me. I think it works pretty good. So I'm going to go with that. 30 seconds, I'm going to click on generate. It's now going to start doing its AI assistant work where they start to do their little thinking. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got, and then we'll do a little bit of customization on it to take it to the next level. All right, welcome back. So here's what we got on our first crack. And I'm going to be honest with you, it looks pretty darn good. The first thing I like to do is I will click on this play button here and I'm going to give it a quick listen and then I'm going to show you how to make a few adjustments all without using any external software or downloading anything. It's super easy to do. Let's let's give it a quick listen to what we got. On a cold winter day when you need reliable and stylish boots, enter the black nice. leather Chelsea boots. Perfect for the rebel biker or the office professional. Crafted with full grain leather and a durable Vibram rubber sole. So you can see here that this is fantastic. And now you're probably wondering, hey, how did they get all these images and all that? This was done automatically. When we put our URL in there previously, it literally pulled in all the pictures and information from the website and from that specific product. So you can do this not on a website basis, but on a product basis. I know people that have Shopify stores with hundreds of products on them. You can create a video for YouTube, for TikTok, for Facebook, for Instagram, <laughs> for a YouTube short, everything, and for their website. You create them all and do hundreds of them. So just keep that in the back of your head. That's how this tool kind of works. So here we go. We've got our cool looking video, but there's a few things I want to change here. So the first thing I'll show you is up here when I hover over the, um, the name of the AI, I have the option to voice replace. So I happen to think Ava is a great voice, but if you were looking for, let's say, a male voice instead, I just clicked on Ava and then I could select the gender male and then it will give me a bunch of male voices and then I could select somebody like Andrew or Brandon and you can always listen in on them. So let's listen to Brandon and see what he sounds like. It seems clear that SpaceX has a significant lead over its competitors in the commercial space industry. That's pretty good. We can listen to a couple other ones here. We got Tony. The proceeds from all auctions will be deposited in the U.S. Now, the thing with Tony, for example, is you can also see that you can select different sort of like elocution. So if you want somebody that's happy, cheerful, excited, friendly, hopeful, sad. I mean, I generally go with the general one. But if you have like, you know, if you want an excited promotion, you could select cheerful or friendly and you could go with that as well. So just keep that in mind. You can ex uh, experiment with those on your own time, but they are there and they are available. So I'm going to go ahead and click out here because I really like the Ava voice, but I just wanted to show you. And also the second thing, and this is very important. If you get some scenes here and it's not a hundred percent what you like, like this one here, it says on a cold winter day when you need reliable and stylish boots. Well, if I wanted this to be on a hot summer day and I'm just, you know, I'm just winging this here, but I just wanted to show you all I need to do on a hot summer day. I just went in and typed in what I wanted it to say. And that's it. It's literally that easy. Now, when I when I export it, it's not going to say on a cold on a cold winter day. It will say on a hot summer day. So you are not stuck with what comes out of this. These are just suggestions. You can override them and write in exactly what you want. The same thing for images. I like, for example, all of these images are great. But this one here, maybe we don't want this image because it's got a person standing and we want them all to be shoe images for whatever reason. So I can just hover over it, click replace. And then watch this. You've got a whole bunch of different options you can select from their library if you have something in mind, but you can also select from the project. So when I select from the project, these are all examples of images that were brought in using that process we talked about earlier. So I could look at this and say, hey, you know what? I kind of like, I want to add in this one here. That's the one I want. I just literally click on replace and watch. It's going to go ahead and disappear. And now when I click out and I click back, we've gone ahead and replaced that image. So we are doing this. And again, we are not using Photoshop. We're not using Premiere Pro or any other video editing software. This is all done and it's included in the product. So this is why I like this so much. Anyways, let's keep going. The next step is we're going to edit in timeline. This is purely optional. But if you want to go to the next level or you want to make some more, you know, refinements, we're going to click on edit and timeline and I'll do this very quickly, show you how to use it. All right. So to go ahead and use the timeline, all you got to do is click on edit and timeline, obviously. And then here we go. It's going to open up a new 
page for us or a new tab in fact and then presto you'll see here that we've got a timeline at the bottom here now if you've used any video editors in the past or you know how to you know you know how to use nonlinear editors this should be pretty straightforward to you this is the playhead that I'm pulling on and you can go ahead and then just slide through the video and make changes as you see fit this is again purely optional for most cases I don't do anything but in this case let me just show you a couple of quick changes you may want to consider for example I'm gonna pull my playhead here through and then I'm gonna to go to this one here you see this boot I love it but I don't think it's big enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image here in the timeline, and then I'm just going to grab one of these little dots. And I'm going to pull the handle out a little bit, and I'm just making the boot a little bit bigger for the video. This is a very minor change. I just moved it so it's centered again. But there we go. We've got a little bit of a bigger boot, and that was literally all I had to do to make that happen. You can make other changes if the audio like the music background, the background music, pardon me, is too loud. I would click on this track here. It's called Promised. So that's the audio it selected. And then I would take the audio maybe from 8% to somewhere around 6%. This is just my personal taste. If you want loud music, go ahead. If you want no music, pull it down to zero. Again, totally up to you. As well, when I go through the timeline here, I could see here that I've got this one here. This one is a pretty cool image, but if I wanted to change it, I would head up here to media and then I could upload my own image. So if we pulled in images off of our Shopify site, for example, and we didn't get the image we want, we can just upload our own image and swap it out. It's that simple. Or you can click on cloud and then we can just take one from the cloud library. So for example, maybe I don't want this image. I want this one so I could just literally click on it and then you'll see here it's been added and then I would delete this one here and then I would just drag this one down into this slot something like that I would grab one of these handles and then there you go it's gone ahead and replaced the image looks great in fact it's the same image that comes up next so maybe that wouldn't be the way to go but that is all there is to it to making changes on the left side you'll see audio so if you want to change the background music you can go ahead and select a different song by selecting it you can do all those different things add in shapes and stickers and effects I'm not going to go through all of those for you because in most cases you're not going to use them they just sort of bog it down but they're there if you want to use them so finally this is one that I use sometimes at the bottom here brand kit if I click on that you'll see here that I've gone ahead and uploaded my logo so if I wanted my logo to be on all my videos I would just click on that there and presto, the logo has been added at the playhead. Maybe I would move that to the beginning. And then let's see what it looks like here. So I move the playhead here. There's my logo. I would maybe position it down at the bottom right. And then boom, if I hit play, on a hot summer day. our logo is included. And if I want it to be longer throughout the video, I would just pull this handle here. So this is very basic stuff, but there is a timeline and you can make fine-tuned adjustments to your videos if you so choose even though in most cases you generally don't need to but it's there if you need it so there you go guys the last step is to click on export I'm gonna do that here and I'm gonna call this I don't know black boots for all occasions okay that sounds good I'll select the resolution of 1080p it's almost always best to choose the highest resolution and then boom it's gonna open up here and you'll see here I've done a whole bunch of videos in the past this one's exporting. When it's done, I'll come back, show you how to download it, and that's it. All right, so the video has finished processing, and here it is. Under the Exported tab, you'll see here that I can just go ahead and download it. Click on those three dots, select Download, and bam, it is downloading and done. If I want to listen to it very quickly to make sure I got a good one, I could just click on this little button here. On a hot summer day, when you need reliable and... Perfect. There we go. Keep in mind that this video can be uploaded to your website. For search engine optimizations, for filling out your product page to your Facebook account, your Twitter account, your Instagram account, your TikTok account, your YouTube account, YouTube Shorts, all of that, all done inside Bool Video. That's the level of value that this tool provides. Thanks for watching, guys. Be back soon.